Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm back doing something different and I've never done this before Christmas before and that is sharing with you what we, as in myself and Neil, have got paid for Christmas. We do a massive wrap up at the end, like after Christmas once she's unwrapped everything from all friends, all family and us. And I realised that that might not be helpful to a lot of you that actually do Christmas shopping within the month of December. If you watch me you'll know I'm the type of person that shops throughout the year for Christmas and birthdays. I see something people like, I put it away and that's just how I do it. I find that that way I'm able to stagger out the cost a lot more and it's not as like a, um, noticeable at the end of the year when I'm like oh my god I need to buy her something and the prices are higher at Christmas I find they always say there's deals on but I don't feel like they're as good as what they are when they're it's actually sale price throughout the year so some of this stuff you would have seen previously just because I haul a lot of my stuff anyway uh, and the first thing I'm going to show you is this and I got this in the Boxing Day sale last year, so 2018, yes, oh, my brain, um, and I got this from Matalan. This was originally £16, went down to 7 it's in the age 3, um, and that's a little snow white dressing up dress. It's a little bit creased um, because it's been kept in the box for such a long time, a year. Um, but I thought it was the perfect time to get it out for her. She's not a massive fan of dressing up, I'm not going to lie. I don't know what it is, she just never willingly goes out of her way to dress up. And if, even if I say to her, let's go and like put on her princess dress and go and watch a Disney film. Like She's not interested, but when her friends come over, they dress up like they're going out clubbing and they have a whale of a time. So, this is going to be for her for this year. And it's a really pretty, it's a legit Disney one. Um, like This is like a... Um, what is this called? Like netting? And then you've got like the um, satin sort of silky bit there. And then you've got all the details on the top. So I think she's going to really, really like that. I've got some random bits, which they are, they are a bit weird. I got them in Poundland ages ago, back in the summer. And they are, hang on. The Secret Life of Pets Soft Toy Key Rings. Like this. P absolutely loves Secret Life of Pets. I need to get her the DVDs. One and two. I've got one recorded on the TV and obviously two um, only came out, was it last month on DVD? We need to get it for her because she just loves it. Um... And I saw these and was like, she doesn't need them, but she would absolutely love playing with them. She plays with her ones that I got secondhand um, at a car boot. Every time my nephew comes over, they play, let's play hide secret life pet toys. And they hide them around the house, whether it be in the freezer or up on her bookshelf. They play it every single time that the boys come over. Um, so I thought I'd add a couple more Secret Life of Pets to the collection, even though she's got the full set anyway. So we've got Max. I think for a pound, like actual Secret Life of Pets merch is pretty good. Um, I showed in her what she got for her Christmas stocking. They had the hard plastic ones. I wish I got the whole set of those as opposed to these, but it doesn't matter. Um, I saw these first. Then she's got Gidget. So that's Gidget. She's got Buddy. I think for a pound each, it's crazy. I didn't get them all. I didn't get Snowball um, or Mel. I've got Duke. He's pretty cool. And then we've got Chloe, who's Pete's favourite. Actually, I, I don't know if Pete prefers Chloe or Gidget, but there's Chloe as well. So she's got five of those. So what I'm going to try and do, haven't currently got it at the moment. I'm waiting for it to go in the sale. I've got a feeling, I'm filming this before Black Friday. I've got a feeling it might go in the Black Friday sale. So I'm hoping that I will be able to buy the DVD and then put all of these things wrapped individually within a cardboard box and the DVD and then hopefully that'll be like a nice gift. Um, talking of DVDs, we have got a shiny. It wouldn't be a Christmas like gift from me if it weren't for these shinies. I've been collecting these, she has so many and it's got to the point where I'm pretty happy with the collection that she's got. I'm only after a couple more, I'm not after all of them. Um, and this one is Fox and the Hound. 
I don't know how she's going to find this one. I remember being quite upset towards the end. I haven't watched this in years. Um, but yeah, it's about a little fox and a hound, ironically. And they make friends. And there's something to do with like, a baddie and a gun or something. So we'll see if she enjoys that or not. Um, something that I got... I don't know if this is too young for her. I don't think it is. I got this from Wilco. Um... I want to say it was back in September time. It was in the sale. It went half price from £6 to 3 And it's the threading beading set. I don't know if she should have received this when she was three. But I never got one. I don't know if I should know. Do I keep this back for baby two? That's a bit silly, isn't it? Um, well, I've got this anyway. Uh, Little Steps Wooden Beads from 3+. Plus. Um, so she can like thread things it's all about like hand eye coordination and making bracelets and things like that so I think it is a little bit babyish but I was after something and like I said it was half price for three pounds I can't complain it's like actual wooden it's really nice quality so that is that something you would have seen when did I show this did I even show this I don't think I did I got this when we went on holiday to Haven down in Portsmouth there was an outlet centre gun wharf keys I want to say and there was a Kath Kidston outlet I got her an apron this was originally nine pounds went down to three don't know if you can see that and it's this really nice pretty rose print oil cloth with a pocket and she hasn't got anything like it. She's got a Christmas one, uh, but that gets folded away and put up into the attic, obviously once the festive season's done. So I thought for a nice crafty, like if we're doing like gluing or like extreme painting or just doing baking in general, I thought this would be a nice little gift for her. And for three pounds, Kath Kidston, you'd pay that second price. Second price, second hand. So to actually get that brand new, I loved it. So she's got that. I had loads of designs, but I liked that one the most. A random little extra that I got from Bargs is a Bush Baby. This was only £1.99, which is why I got it. You know, like when you see something and like the chew noise sticks in your head. This is the sort of thing that sticks in her head. Um, so when she saw it, she was like, oh, Bush Baby. Um, so there's a little try me section and you put your finger in its head. Quite weird. And you can like move the eyes and ears. You see that? So this is the pink one. It was $1.99. The available is purple and blue down there. Um, they didn't have those ones. So I just got her the pink. I think she's going to really enjoy it. She's one of those weird creepy things that kids like. Uh, she's not really into soft toys. Which I'm not going to complain about. I'm quite happy the fact she's not into that sort of stuff. Um, but this... It'll do. And it was only one ninety nine, which I thought was quite a good good price. Um, so she's got a little bush baby. Thought it was nice and festive. Had a snowflake on its foot. What should I show you next? This. You would have seen this within a haul, I think. Yeah, you must have done. Um, perfume. P wears my perfume every single day. She's a girl. She loves, like, do it, like... She doesn't love me doing her hair, but once her hair's done, she's like, oh, perfume just before or just after she's brushed her teeth. Um, so I was gonna wait until she's a bit older for this, but she can have it now. Um, this was from Next, I got it in the Next sale, I don't even know how long ago. It was originally 250, got it for two, no, originally, it was originally 650 and then it went down to 250 and it's 50 mil. So it's a nice little fragrance for her. Really like the box and I think she's going to be really happy to have her own proper perfume. She's had like my body sprays and stuff but like legit perfume I think she's going to love. So she's got a little perfume. I do one thing that I want to get her is like girl makeup but not where it's like extreme. I remember having like play makeup but the colour payoff was really rubbish. So if you know of anywhere that has that sort of thing. Um... Leave me a comment below. I don't know what I'm after. I just know I want to get her something where she can have those little um, sponge applicators and just shove it on, on her eyes herself. But something that is not really pigmented because I don't fancy that going on white walls or on grey carpet. So if you know of anything like that, leave that below and then I can do like a little makeup 
like palette with this on top and I think she'd really enjoy that so that's my plan for that so leave suggestions down below for me for that she is getting one book this year um, I don't normally gift books or too many books at Christmas time just because of the book advent that I do running up to Christmas. This was in the sale on Amazon for £2.50, which is a really good price for a Topsy and Tim book. I try and find them secondhand, but because I've got so many now, trying to find the select ones that I need is really tricky. So this is Topsy and Tim go to the hospital. It's one that she's been wanting for a really long time. There's only a few more that we need to get out of the whole set. Um, she got the box set for her birthday last year and she loves them um so this one is going to go alongside that so that's what it looks like uh, i think it was originally 4.99 so it did go down half price she just loves topsy and tim and so do i to be honest i think they're really nice books and i feel like four plus is like the perfect age um but she liked it when she was younger because she could relate it to the TV program. So Topsy and Tim, good little find. Right, what am I going to show you next? This, Playmobil. She is really into Playmobil. I got this last year. Um, it was like literally a couple of days before December, I remember, because I got my Christmas mug. Um, I had 20% off because one of Neil's friend's mum works at... TK Maxx and sometimes they give around 20% like friends and family discount um, so I was able to get 20% off this so it was 5 99 so I want to say it went down to 4 99 don't quote me on it because I'm not very good at maths and I can't remember um, this is a princess set like I said she loves Playmobil she's got a couple of sets uh, and I'm hoping she's going to get a couple for Christmas as well um, just because she's really into it now she's not into Duplo or Lego Playmobil is her thing so this is what we've got so you've got like the little stand and stuff and like flowers quite sweet and she's already got like a princess castle so this princess can go within that as well and i love how it's got a carry case because things go missing and the fact it's got a case it can be all contained um and i really liked that so i thought 5.99 is not a bad well whatever i paid 4.99 is not a bad price for that she's really into her babies and I found this in Wilco. It was £3, I think. Uh, and it's got a bottle and a potty. It's a good sized potty as well. I looked in B&M and I think there was a set in there for a five with like loads of accessories. But the potty was tiny. And I was after like a good size one. Um, she doesn't have one like it. She's, it's like I said, she's still really into her babies. She likes to give them baths. She likes to take them everywhere. She loves to undress them. Never redresses them. Always taking their clothes off so they're just like naked. But she's happy so I don't care. Um, so yeah, like I said, this is from Wilco. And it's just a potty and a bottle of milk. Um, I am after the like papoose baby carrier thing. But they never have it in my store. And I don't want to pay postage. I'm such a tight ass. So I'm hoping to try and find it in the run up to Christmas because um, I've still got a little while to go when I'm filming this but I've got that one I think she's gonna love that I found this not too long ago in Morrison's when I say not too long ago if you're watching this and you want to like buy stuff 2020 in advance I found this end of October so end of October Morrison's great sale they do buy one get one free and they also do up to half price on selected toys this is half price this should have been six pounds and it went down to three which i think is a really good price um it's evie so you would have seen that p got a bit of steffi for her birthday um she's now also getting a bit of evie just because i found it so cheap um so it's the little girl and the baby and a little crib which i think she's gonna love obviously buying things that are like about babies i think is going to be quite beneficial as obviously the baby arrives uh, and then it's got some little bits and bobs in there as well um i think she's going to really really enjoy this um so that's what that looks like they only had the pink i don't know if it comes in a different color but for three pounds couldn't believe it it's got like a nice little neck curtain and like a pillow and a duvet and stuff um so that's that i don't know what that retails for on amazon or anything i don't even know where you can buy this sort of stuff i think debenhams actually i think i've seen it in debenhams but 
half price in Morrison's. Just had to do a battery change, so I apologise if it looks a bit um, different. These, P loves her little Chelsea doll. Back in the Say Nose toy sale, I had a couple of these and I put them back. I was like, oh, she doesn't need them. And then as soon as I got home, P was like, I really want some more of these. And they all went like hot cakes. And I was only able to get one actually in the Say Nose toy sale. These go for seven pounds full price. Seven pounds. I got this for three pounds fifty, so I got it half price. It's um, Barbie, but it's the Club Chelsea, so it's like the smaller versions. Um, so this is the one with black hair, she's got a little cat thing, um, the top is plastic and it stays on but the tutu and the shoes come off. Uh, she's got little sandals which I thought Pete would quite like and she's got a little tie-dye skirt. P just loves little dolls, hence why I've got the Eevee set as well. Um, so I think she's going to really, really like this one. And then randomly in the Tesco sale, um, I found this. This is a Barbie Dreamtopia um, little girl and she's like a mermaid. It doesn't say it is a bath toy, but I think we will use it like within the bath. This went down from seven pounds to one seventy-five. I don't know what the sale was. It was really random. Back in was it the six-week holidays? I can't remember. It was just really random. I've got some more stuff to show you that I got. Um, but like I said, it was so cheap. So this is the Little Mermaid. Um, and then you can see the tail. I've got to attach it once I get her out of the box. But I think it's such a good price. Again, for like legit Barbie. I think she's going to love that. So I've got her two little ones. I do wish I had like another one, but I don't. So it is what it is. Another thing that I got from Tesco's. Oh, my bum's getting in the way. Is this. I have never seen or had adorables before. I've gone really light. Honestly, the sun is ruining my video. Um, so I got this. This was half price, I think. It was either 7 or 7 50 full price, which I think is cheap in itself anyway. I swear I've seen these like 10 or 12 pounds in TK Maxx. And then I paid either 3 50 or 3 75 I can't remember. Um, but it's this like frozen castle. And because Frozen 2 is coming out soon or will be out when I when this goes live, um, I thought I'm hoping to take her to go and see that. So I thought this would be a good little thing. Um, so you've got like the tower, you've got some doors that you open, you've got Anna, you've got like some snowmen, um, you've got Sven's little sleigh with carrots, and it says includes exclusive figure inside so I think there's like a little surprise figure in there as well I think and I assume it's Sven if they've got the little thing but I think she's going to really like this um I don't know if this is going to be something that she'll potentially get into it is quite small um I just thought it was quite cute and for 375 like actual Disney like durables I know they do blind bags and they're so expensive um so I picked that one up for her. So fingers crossed she likes that one. And then at the same time when I went to that Tesco sale, I was very lucky to get these. This is what I was after. And I think she's going to lose her mind. I was going to separate them and do one for birthday, one for Christmas. But I think she would love them just receiving them together. And they are the Shopkins Little Secrets, or Lil Secrets if you want to call it by its real name. But these ones... These were originally £16. I paid £4 each. I don't know why. I don't know what the sale was. I couldn't tell you. And I was so desperate to get more. But they didn't have any more. They didn't replen the shelves. I think it was one of those things that once it was gone, it was gone. So she's got this one, which is Sea Shell. Um, so basically, it's the big doll. And then you get the little lockets. And the little lockets is what P loves. Um, so they come on like a little... like lock it string and you get a little shoppy so this is like a big shoppy and then you get a little one um and then that like lives inside the locket here um and i don't think you can buy these ones separately i think it's like exclusive to the set because i've never seen it and we do have a few of the lockets individual ones i'm just so happy that i got this for her i think this girl's beautiful as well so that is sea shell and i'll turn it over for you hang on 
so you can see that is what it looks like on the inside so that's that one like i said that was four pounds and then i got tia tiger lily um so she's like the orange one and then you've got the locket down here and the little shoppy there and then that's what it looks like on the inside they're like the poly pockets but the old school ones where the little shoppies are they're hard plastic and they fit into the circles they rebranded and brought out the poly pockets again like from the 90s out now um but they're rubbish i got some in the toy sale last year and gave her one and i'm actually keeping the rest to like gift as reception presents the poly pockets lose their stick and they're like wobbly like the top half is plastic and then the bottom is like like a jelly leg style and they lose their stick and they're not great so these are the ones that we've really like sort of honed in on after i wish poly pocket just rebranded as what it was um because i do find shopkins a bit garish i'm not gonna lie um i think i don't know inside of these ones because obviously we haven't opened them I don't know if there is a mini Shopkin inside these or not. In the actual lockets, you get a mini Shopkin as well as a Shoppy. So I don't know. Um, but for £4, she's going to be so happy with that. And then, like, her main things from us. Let me know if this is excessive. I don't know if it is. Because I buy so cheap... I don't know, like, I'm looking at this and I think, God, she's got a lot from us. But, like, it was so cheap. Like, I just don't know. Um, so, you would have all seen back in... Was it April? I got these. The Entertainer had a massive clearance on pop teenies. If you don't know what they are, you have these little poppers here. Uh, and they sell here. You, they sell these ones individually or you can get the double ones or you can get like the play sets and everything went on clearance and I, I know I vlogged about it um so we got the mini poppers which she has got some of the figures currently because I wanted to see if she liked it and she loves them and that's all she's been asking for for her birthday for Christmas is pop teenies um they have I want to say they have now discontinued from the entertainer they also had them on Argos they then got discontinued um, but they have brought them back in bags so you can just get the individual poppers for 99p just that um, and I think I paid 125 in the entertainer so the 99p is good and within one popper um, obviously I'm not going to show you what you do is you pop it so if you don't want confetti in your house maybe go outside you pop it and a little girl comes out and you get an accessory so like a plate of biscuits and a headband I think it's been a long time since we last did one uh, and you can collect loads of different girls there's different versions within these so you have like winter wonderland animal surprise and like a unicorn one I think I'm not 100% sure um that's for series one they have also now brought out series two I'm trying to find series two um she just loves pop teenies and these were so cheap so this was Oh, this is really hard to remember because it was such a long time ago. I want to say it was £10 and it went down to £2.25. It was very, very cheap. So this is the um, Party Pop Teeny Surprise Box Placer. And this has got Hayden in it. Um, and then you also have a little mini popper. Can you see that? There. And then if you turn it round, it's sort of like an advent calendar style. So you have like these little doors that you open and then within it, oh, you'll get, oh, my back, hang on. Um, you'll get like, I've started itching as well, um, like little figures or um, like furniture and stuff. So she's got that play set. She has also got, what have I done with it? Ah, this one this is really good and i do wish i got a couple of these for um like presents for her friends when she gets invited to parties this is six of the surprise poppers so there'll be six figure girls in here um this was from argos because uh the entertainer sold out and i think this went down from 20 pounds down to 4.99 which when a popper itself is 99p you're saving yourself money um so this is what they look like so you've got six surprise poppers so you'll get six girls 
and it's series one i wish that they did do series two just so she won't get duplicates i know she'll get duplicates but it doesn't matter because she can play with them in the bath and stuff um so that is that one and then she got the big set um just because of the price i'm not gonna lie i haven't got storage for this type of thing but she's got so many of the girls and will obviously have so many of the girls it'll be nice for her to actually have a pop teeny play set to place them all on so there's little standing points here where they all like stand on and spin and she can do like parties and obviously she's going to get a lot of furniture within some of the sets so she can put it all within one thing um what is this i don't know i can't read it you get an exclusive doll you get a table you get little things presents that you can open um i just think it looks great and this again I want to say went down from 25 down to 4.99 like it was so cheap that's why i got it all uh, and that one was either from the entertainer or argos i can't remember i think it was from argos actually um and you get 25 pieces in there so that is like her pop teeny stuff and then finally her main present from us is this baby alive you have no idea how much the girl's been going on about Baby Alive. It's what she watches on YouTube. There's this woman. I don't know who she is. I don't know what the channel is. And she call, she has so many Baby Alives. And they're all called different names. Like Abby and Sarah. And I can't even remember what the names are. Um, and this is the one that we picked up. So she has got one for her birthday. Um same colour hair which is annoying i wish one of them was brunette but it is what it is she didn't need to but she loves them so much and she's so into her dolls she didn't need any more stuffed dolls i wanted her to have a couple more like plastic ones um this was originally 27 pounds i got it in tk maxx for 12.99 there we go uh, i got this one from the great yarmouth branch but i know that they do have some baby life stuff in Argos on offer, I think for 12.50 at the moment. But this is the one that she wanted um, because it's the food one. So the one that she got for her birthday is like one with an ice cream so it doesn't make mess. It's like a plastic ice cream, but this is one where you mix up the food. I don't know what the consistency is like. I don't watch the videos. I wanna say it's like slime. I don't really understand it if I'm being perfectly honest. I feel like an ultimate mum. So it's got some doll food. I need to see if I can buy some individual sachets as well. Um, so she's got a pear one and she's got a broccoli one. Um, I wish it had more food that came with it because then obviously she would get the use out of it. She's got this little mixer thing. So I think you like just add water and then you spin the handle to mix it. I don't know if you can see that. It's got a bottle where... Does that actually tip out water? Yes. So she can properly feed the baby. It's got a nappy down here and a comb for her hair. And then like you put the food in, but I don't know how you clean the baby out. Like does it just, is there like a gaping hole and it just falls through into the nappy? Or is there like a section where I clean it? I have no clue. I don't know. They don't show that shit on YouTube. So we'll find out. This one is the Sweet Spoonfuls baby. There we go. So this is her main gift from us and having a main present for 12 99 is very cheap and that is everything that we have got pee so looking at it it does seem like quite a lot but i don't think i spent more than than 50 pounds which i think is quite good is that good like normally a main present on its own is like 50 quid so i feel like everything that i got 50 pounds here or there it might be a little bit more might be a little bit less but as a a gift as a like a all-rounder number i don't think that's too bad so i hope this has given you a bit of inspo i'm sorry if it's been a bit waffly i just want to try and help everyone as much as i can when it comes to like shopping and bargains um and little bits i think she's gonna love everything that she's got Leave me a comment below. Let me know your budgets. I'm really interested now that I've sort of tried to round it up and figure out how much I spent. Um, leave me a comment below. Let me know how much you spend on your child, whether you have a budget, whether you do like one big main present, say like, I don't know, like a tablet or like, um, like a 
gaming device. God, I feel really old. Um, and then like a few little extras. I feel like I've just got like loads of little bits as opposed to being like, here's your main present. Let me know down below if you'd like me to share with you what she got from family members after Christmas. Um, cause she's gonna get different stuff and I'd quite like to share it with you all. But if you've had enough of like hauls and stuff, then just let me know. Um, but ideally I would like to show you the, like, the other bits that she has got from friends and family. So, I'm going to go. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I'm now going to go and wrap all of this stuff and then put it all away. And I'll see you all in my next video.